KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, November 23rd. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather changing. We'll see clouds moving in today. Rain tonight and maybe a few showers as the weekend wraps up late Sunday and Sunday night. Check it out. There's the upper air look this morning. Across the country, we have that trough in the northeastern states lifting out. Got a zonal flow here and a wave coming into Texas, and that will bring the rain in here tonight. Still very cold up in the northeast early this morning. They've got single-digit lows in many spots, many new records. Around here, we've got uh, 30s and 40s. We'll expect a high in the 50s for North Alabama today, 60s for the southern counties of the state. That's a watch warning map around the nation. A lot of uh, folks in the uh, northwest under winter storm warnings and a winter storm watch out there across the Corn Belt for parts of Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa. That's for the system developing Sunday for them. There's the severe weather outlook for today and tonight. And I guess somebody might hear some thunder tonight, but probably most folks will not. There's certainly no chance of any severe weather. Rain for the next seven days. Again, big numbers for the Pacific Coast from San Francisco to Seattle. The east will have some rain and some snow in Alabama. Rain amounts between one half and one inch. And much of that coming tonight. Pretty decent part of next week looks dry. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06C run at noon today. You can clearly see our trough to the west. Clouds will increase today. The day should be mostly dry. And I guess there might be a sprinkle somewhere this afternoon, but clouds will increase. We'll expect a high today in the mid-50s. Here comes the rain tonight. Uh, rain moving into West Alabama, probably 7, 8 o'clock, and then overspreading the state as the evening wears on. The uh, chance of rain for the high school football games tonight, certainly there for West Alabama. For the eastern counties, maybe the rain comes in after the games are over, but we can't guarantee that. I'd take the rain gear to any high school stadium tonight. And again, rain amounts probably a quarter to one-half inch. And then tomorrow, the rain is long gone. The sky becomes partly to mostly sunny and a very nice day. The high should be in the 60s, a fine day for the Iron Bowl at Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, 2.30. Sky should be partly sunny with mid to upper 60s at kickoff there. Now, Sunday, there's that deep system forming out around the St. Louis and big snows form, maybe almost blizzard conditions north of Kansas City, south of Des Moines, back up toward Milwaukee. And again, for us, Sunday looks mild. The high should be in the Upper 60s, clouds will increase. And then Sunday night as the cold front comes through trailing that low, there could be a few showers, but moisture should be very limited. And rain amounts light, probably a tenth of an inch or less for most spots. And then for my Monday, that feature is gone. The weather turns colder. The high will be only around 50. We could stay easily in the 40s much of the day. The sky clearing with a pretty strong north wind. Tuesday, many spots will likely be in the 20s during the morning, the high in the low to mid 50s, the sky bright and sunny. Wednesday, we stay cool and dry. And Thursday, we've got a feature off to the west, and that will probably bring some clouds in here. And inevitably, some chance of rain, maybe Thursday night or Friday. This is Friday, a week from today. Again, a zonal flow and that feature producing some showers. So if this model were to verify the better chance of rain would be Thursday night of next week. And I'm sure that'll change again as we get closer. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday, the 2nd of December. Big trough in the western states, a deep surface low south of Minneapolis-St. Paul. That looks like a blizzard for parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas in a trailing front. And if by chance this is right, we'll have to watch for strong storms, but this will change again. Here are the numbers coming off the European, 60s for the weekend, then 40s early next week. And after that, highs on most days are in the 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here will be Monday morning at 7 o'clock. We're on the holiday schedule, one video per day today. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 456 
and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.